Hey everyone, so down to less than three weeks till I'm supposed to leave for the Hot Rod Power Tour. And I thought I was pretty much done getting my Nova ready to go, but I was just driving it around this week, noticed a couple of things. So this was yesterday, I was driving to work. It was like 60 something degrees, cloudy, cruising down the highway at like 65 and the temperature is creeping up and up and up. Um, it gets up to 195 and the fan comes on, fan brings it back down to 180, fan shuts off and within two minutes it's back up to 195. So I'm just going to check the thermostat and see what temperature thermostat's in there because if it's a 180 thermostat it, in that kind of weather it should just cruise at 180 I would think. Uh, I just want to make sure there's not any issues with the cooling system. The other thing that I'm dealing with is this crazy really loud vibration rattling noise that's just been getting worse and worse i can't really pinpoint where it's coming from so i'm gonna try to get under the car while it's running and see if it's hopefully like something like the exhaust and i really just want to know what it is it's not something that's about to fail or whatever fall off before i go on this big trip because it's 900 miles just just to get to the first stop. Not looking to have any problems. And I got a couple other small things I want to take care of, like the uh, cigarette lighter has no power. I need something to uh, charge the phones and whatnot. So I'm gonna take a look at that too. This is a 5.3 Chevy. So the thermostat is down where the lower hose is. It's the housing right there, so we're going to uh, take the belt off because it's kind of right in the way and then drain the rad and pull off the lower hose. There's, I think, two or three bolts for the housing and then the uh, thermostat should come right out. Okay, well I got the housing out and no thermostat at all, so... Maybe that's the problem. I would expect though, with no thermostat, that it would run really cool in that kind of situation. I don't know, strange. So this blue wire was just dangling loose. That's why there was no power to the cigarette lighter. I put a little spade terminal on it. I found this wire back here with 12 volts, constant power. So I'm gonna plug it in and uh, that should take care of that, hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll try it out. Plugged in the charging adapter and light came on, so hopefully we should be good with that. Check that off the list. Back at SK speed again. Back on there now, hose clamp tight. I took off the uh, the idler pulley here. You don't really need to, but it just makes a little more space. You don't have to put any sealant or anything on it. It's just the uh, O-ring that's a, that goes around the thermostat that seals the housing. Belt back on and refilled. Didn't get it all in yet. I'm gonna start it out.
I don't know if it's the main rattle, but the uh, the hood things, the hood ornaments. This one was rattling. This one I had taken off already and put a little butyl. Get this butyl rope stuff. This should help. But, uh, this should help keep it from rattling. Put it at each corner, in the middle, both sides. Hopefully that should keep it in place. I really don't like these things. Um, these studs often break off. This is some kind of pot metal. And then this is all that holds it on. These things aren't great either. They're not like real fasteners. more rattles. Alright, so when I first filled it with the antifreeze and started it, it got really hot. I think it had an air pocket and the hoses were like sucking in on themselves. So I let it cool down for a little while, uh, opened it up, topped off the radiator, started it, and then it belched out a bunch of air pockets. And then I topped it off again. Now I just put the cap on. Like 186 now. I think the rattle is gone. I mean, I haven't heard anything since I started it again, so maybe it was just that grill. It's weird. It sounded like it was coming from the bottom of the car, but it was just resonating throughout the body. It sounds much quieter now. So far, the hoses look okay. This is hot, everything's hot, so I think the air pockets are out. The fan's gonna kick on. All right, fan was bringing it down like normal. So next thing I just gotta do is get out on the road and uh, see how we do.
my theory is that um, there is there's these isolators, these rubber cushions that are supposed to be above on the top of the coil spring where it fits into the frame socket area. I didn't check the driver's side, but it's definitely missing on the passenger side. I checked my Grand National. It has them, and that car has never been apart. And uh, Colin checked his Monte Carlo. It has an 85 Monte Carlo SS. It had them too. So it's the same suspension design. I assume these should have it. Maybe that's where I'm getting that crazy vibration rattle from randomly. But I don't think it's anything dangerous, so... It's just an annoyance at this point. So if I can find one and I have a minute, you know, in other words, hours and hours of time sometime, I'm really down to about a week and a half. So if I can do that, I'll do it. Otherwise, it's just going to have to roll the way it is. Had a little mishap. Uh, last weekend, I spent nearly the whole weekend trying to find this crazy vibration noise that I'm suddenly getting and uh, well actually it's been gradually getting worse and then I had a little mishap which I can't believe I did this but I guess I did because how else would it be like this severe bend on this tie rod end um, it's supposed to be straight Only thing I can figure is I put the jack under it and jacked the car there by accident, but I really don't remember doing that. I mean, I've never done anything like that before, but ah, who knows. So I've got a new end. I'm going to turn this one out. I'm going to count the number of turns to hopefully get it back to uh, the right position. I don't know if the alignment's going to be screwed up now. That's my big concern. Six. Seven. Forty-one, forty-one turns. Look at this thing.
guess that's it. I don't know. So we're gonna find out. Got some new plastic bins starting to pack up with supplies. Um, tools will go in later because I'm still kind of using them for other stuff. But it's gonna get tight real quick. It's not a it's not a really big car, the trunk. It's a decent size, but you know, it's gonna fill up fast. So hopefully uh no more issues. I'm just going to try to drive as much as I can between now and then, and hopefully we'll be ready to go.